Hello everyone, Sandeep here. Today I am going to derive the most famous equation in physics, the E equals mc square, the mass energy equivalence principle, the equation. So we all know that E denotes the energy, m denotes the mass defect or the mass, and c is the speed of light, which is a constant equal to 299792458 meters per second. So how how do we get this? Uh, so, okay, so let's start. Uh, by the work energy principle of or the work uh, energy equivalence principle we can say that work is equivalent to energy energy is the ability to do work and work, change in work work done on a system is a measure of change in its energy so uh, work we all know that it's a integral of f dot dx within the limits uh, and we can write it like this dw equals f dot dx now by this principle we can write de equals f dot dx right now by newton's second law of motion we can write force is the rate of change in momentum so de equals force is the rate of change in momentum so we can write it as dp by dt times dx right now what's dp by dt uh, p we all know that p is the uh, linear momentum so p equals mv and so dp equals m dv plus v dm now dm is not zero because uh, when masses travel relative to the uh, very compar comparable to the speed of light the mass is not no longer constant so we have to take take in this term dm so so considering that we can write we can substitute dp over here we get m dv plus v dm this is dp and then dx by dt now dx by dt is a change in position over time so that is v if you multiply this we will get mv dv plus v square dm right this is de okay let's take it as our equation one so how to calculate this change in mass term okay so the einstein's equation for the change in mass when uh, when spe uh, when mass travels uh, relative to the speed of light or comparable to the speed of light uh, it is given by m at a certain velocity is equals to the rest mass divided by root over one minus v square by c square okay so now let's differentiate with uh, respect to velocity because it's a function of velocity so dm by dv equals m naught is a constant we can write it like this it will be a lot easier 1 minus v square by c square to the power minus half so apply the chain rule over here we'll get minus half into 1 minus v square by c square uh, to the power minus 3 by 2 now we differentiate this one we will get minus 2 v by c square we we are differentiating with respect to velocity so it gets 2 v over c square is a constant so 2 gets cancelled right now we can rearrange it like this m naught into 1 minus this minus minus gets plus okay so 1 minus v square by c square to the power minus half into 1 minus v square by c square to the power minus 1 into v by c square now this term m naught into 1 minus v square by c square to the power uh, minus 1 by 2 is actually m so we write m in place of this 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 term and we will get m into now we take the lcm of this so we'll get c squared minus v squared by c squared inverse into v by c squared now take the inverse of this we'll get c squared by c squared minus v square into v by c square c square get cancelled so this is actually dv dm by dv taking v to that side and c square minus v square to this side we will get uh, 
c square dm minus v square dm equals mv dv right now take this to the uh, that side you'll get c square dm equals mv dv plus v square dm now we have seen this somewhere if this is the equation 2 we see that mv dv plus v square dm is actually de mv dv plus v square dm is actually de so we can substitute de over here right so you can write c square dm equals de from 1 okay so now time to integrate it just integrate it within the limits I write it like this d equals c square dm you get delta e equals delta m times c squared and this is the so called e equals mc squared relation so now we have proved it and now you know y e equals mc squared the most famous equation in the physics now this is a, a very simple derivation that I have shown you uh, the original derivation which was done by Einstein uh, required Einstein field equation that's a much complicated ones so uh, now you can convince yourself here yes, this is correct e equals mc square you know the derivation of that thank you if you like this video please like and subscribe thank you